This is just a short video with a 3D visualization and a few comments. It simply documents this channel's current view of the Great Pyramid's masonry structure. The 3D render is made to look like a CT scan, but many of the shown features are speculative. The size and spacing of the rock fill pockets that may exist in the pyramid are based on the ceiling of Al Mamun's tunnel, shown in our previous video. A quick rendering note, the rock fill compartments had to be blended. If they're shown in cross-section at actual speed, they cause a very distracting flicker. If the Great Pyramid contains pockets of rock fill, a certain structural design would probably follow. 1. The rock massif at the base of the pyramid would be irregular at large distances, even if terraced. To properly transfer the giant weight to the ground, the builders would probably first establish a flat platform of cut stone, flush with the top of the outcrop, before placing any rock fill at all. 2. A vertical trunk of cut stone would probably occupy the center, to help anchor the structure. This would be in addition to the no rubble island under the chambers, shown in our previous video, meant to reduce the risk of subsidence. 3. There would be a thick shell of cut stone all over, so that any potential cave-ins deep inside don't ruin the surface. The pyramid's core looks stepped in the cross-section, but we should clearly distinguish between any pyramid with steps and THE classic Egyptian stepped pyramids. The classic Egyptian stepped pyramids, Saqqara, Zayat el Aryan, Meidum, are built in a very specific way, with nearly vertical accretion layers leaning towards the center. This is different from other pyramids without accretion layers, but with regular setback tiers, visible or not. In Egypt, the Red Pyramid was likely the first to abandon accretion layers in favor of horizontal courses. Mark Lehner says that the Bent Pyramid is where the transition happened. The lower half is accretion layers and the top half horizontal courses. The famous bend is thus a visual symbol of the birthing pains of a new style of inner masonry in the pyramids. The horizontal courses born midway in the Bent Pyramid paved the way for the future giants of Giza. Until 1960s or 70s, all Old Kingdom pyramids, including the Great One, were thought to have accretion layers. It stemmed from Lepsius's idea that accretion layers are the perfect solution for adjusting the pyramid size to the duration of the pharaoh's reign, as you could simply add them on. Today we know that a long reign helps, but a whole lot of other factors will reduce the pyramid size. Now a few fun facts about stepped pyramids. The step pyramid wasn't the first stepped building in ancient Egypt. This first dynasty Mastaba in Saqqara was surrounded by massive steps. Who knows, maybe it influenced Djoser. There's a curious disagreement about the step count within Menkora's pyramid. On the left is Marajolio and Rinaldi, on the right pairing. Both drawings are matched in scale. Pairing sees the entrance to Vice's tunnel at the bottom of a step. M and R see it at the top of a step. If you extrapolate to the full height, Pairing sees four steps, or five if you include the topmost one, while M and R see seven or eight. Dieter Arnold, on the other hand, acknowledges these suggestions, but says no observations have been made. Presumably it means he doesn't see justification for any steps. It kind of looks like the gash in Menkara's pyramid is the Rorschach test of Egyptology. Europe is not known for pyramids. But in northern Sardinia, there's actually what looks like a stepped pyramid. It predates Egyptian pyramids by some 500 years. It may have been the base of a temple. One viewer mentioned a Bronze Age tomb in the Sariarka region of Kazakhstan, 
discovered in 2016. Some use the word pyramid, but it could be a tumulus, a monument within an earthen mound. The lopsided shape recalls some of the first dynasty tombs in Egypt, which also had trouble marking out proper squares. As the viewer points out, the composition is somewhat like the possible structure of the Great Pyramid, shown earlier, a grid of stone walls with filler material in between. By the way, a male skeleton was found in the burial chamber, in a very rough sarcophagus. Finally, an observation. If we use the estimates from Al Mamun's tunnel, we get an inner core with 13 steps, which happens to be the same as the number of steps on the pyramid on a $1 bill. Coincidence?